Well, hello there, friends and family. So good to see you this morning. And you might wonder why we're sitting in the focus and we got her getting ready. Well, the reason being, we're gonna go two places, but one requires that we go back in time. Yep. And to a place you've been to many times before. Now, just how far back in time are we gonna go? Well, according to the Wayback Machine installed here in the Focus, while, you know, the flux generator builds up, we've got the date set for August 22nd, 2019. And what are we gonna be looking at back then? We're gonna be looking at the cost of meats as I and some of you saw them back on that day in recent history. And once we've reviewed them, we're going to come back and we're going to go in present time to Superfoods again and see just what the cost of meat is today, June the 9th, 2022. So jump on in, buckle up. Now, hey, we're using the Wayback Machine, which does generate a time portal. And you know how nauseous some of you get. So hey, there are barf bags in the back. Just say it. So hop on in. And let's take a ride back in time. We went back in time to Superfoods. Yeah, uh, the Graviton uh, injector to the flux capacitor is a little bit um, out of sync, so excuse that there uh, jump back. Whew, it was a little rocky there for a second. But here we are. We're at Superfoods in the year 2019, August 22nd. Whew. Not too much has changed, you know, from back in uh, 2019 till, you know, our present time, which was June the 9th, 2022, when we left. Well, let's jump in there. Let's run on in and relive the meat prices of the past. And once we're through with that, we'll jump back to present time and see what they are on June the 9th, 2022, okay? Now we're over at the meat counter. And here we got reduced for quick sale Beef ribeye steak, stick cut. Seven dollars a pound. Regular ribeyes at Walmart, if you remember, were eight ninety-seven. I don't need no more steaks. Your boneless country style ribs here are three fifty a pound. And they were uh, the bone in country style ribs at Walmart for two ninety one a pound, but that was marked down price. We'll check. Here's the country style right here. Family packs. They're dollar ninety-eight pounds all day long. And this was the same thing they had at Walmart marked down for two ninety-one a pound. Nearly a dollar savings. Here's your center cut, pork loin center cut chops, right there. And those at Walmart were four seventeen a pound. And these, every day, two dollars and fifty cents a pound. Now you're starting to understand why I don't buy meat at Walmart. 
it's not great meat and it's definitely too high. Pork steaks. Now that over at uh, Walmart, that was $3.69 a pound. Over here at Superfoods, $2.08 a pound. Lord. That's over a dollar and sixty-one cents savings right there against Walmart. Now here we are looking at their uh, seventy-three twenty-seven ground beef. And over at Walmart, that was three oh three a pound marked down. Everyday price here, two twenty a pound. Now your regular uh, price here on ribeye steaks, ten seventy five a pound. We're over at Walmart is eight ninety seven. So actually cheaper Walmart don't understand that but here we are beef loin New York strip steaks that was 10 15 a pound at Walmart 825 a pound every day here superfood of course my favorite t-bone eight dollars a pound every day Filet mignon was marked down at Walmart, twelve seventy nine a pound. The everyday price here, filet mignon, is twelve seventy five. So it's actually, of course, seems cheaper here. Everyday low price. And oh my God, there we got some more chuck eye steaks, four seventy five a pound. So you know what I got to do, guys. I'm gonna be packing up some meat tonight. Well, they don't got no sirloin steak out today that I can see. They do got some uh, beef chuck tender steaks here, for three ninety-eight a pound. Let's go over there and check the chuck roast out. Now, chuck roast at Walmart was marked down to four hundred four a pound. Everyday price here at Superfoods three dollars and ninety-eight cents a pound. And over here, it's Blackwell Angus. God knows what that was over at Walmart. Didn't say if y'all remember. And here you can get a cut up fryer for $1.68 a pound. And we're over at Walmart. The wings, drumsticks, and thigh packages were $1.74. And like it says on the tag there, born in the United States, raised in the United States, harvested in the United States. Walmart don't say that. There's a split chicken breast with ribs for $1.35 a pound. Let's check what the boneless ones are.
Here we got chicken thighs. Dollar a pound every day. Walmart's price is a dollar fifty-five. You say fifty-five cents a pound just by coming here. Briar drumsticks, dollar a pound. I don't see no boneless. Got chicken breast fillets. Three dollars a pound. It's pricey. I don't see any uh, boneless chicken breast here. So we can check that price. Well, y'all, we've jumped back in the modern day time. And here we are on June the 9th, 2022. We're going to take a look at the meat situation here at our locally owned and operated superfoods on the east side of the river. Yeah, where they always know your name and they're always glad you came. So let's check it on out. Oh, I see we got some manager specials today. Oh yeah, now these are specials. So we're gonna have to look at them. Yep, here we got some 73, 27 ground beef for $1.90 a pound. Yeah, you can't hardly beat that, can you? So we're gonna have to get some of that. So hold on. Can't beat that 190. So we picked us up six pounds. Hey. That'll go a long way for old Mr. Tom. Yeah. See what else they got that might be good. Well, they got some beef cube here. Reduced to 430 a pound. Some New York strips for 820 a pound. Reduced. Stew meat, 530. Well, that's Blackwell Angus certified. And of course, they've got some sirloin steak, 425 a pound. And some filet mignon for 11 a pound. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that ground beef. That'll keep me busy for a bit. Oh, there's some uh, T-bones for eight a pound. Whew. Now, if we were wanting to get some pork loin back ribs, they're four forty a pound. The Smithfield, you know, the pork loin fillets, pretty much anywhere from six sixty six to seven twelve, and uh, that's for one point four pounds. Got the cube pork, 375 a pound. Woo! Now this is good stuff. This is their in-house made sausage. Yep, this is the hot. $1.99 a pound. We're gonna get some of the regular, not hot. If you ever buy superfoods, grab some of this. It's mighty fine. Yeah, we got the country style ribs, two thirty a pound. Pork rib and chops, two ten. And we got the pork loin first cut chops for two dollars a pound. Now these are everyday low prices. This is not meat on sale. Just want to let y'all know that. Pork stew meat's going to run you two oh eight. You definitely got to try that if you can find it. You'll be wanting to do pork stew more often than beef. And it's far cheaper. 
And then we got the pork loin center cut chops, 250. Them fancy, thick sliced. And all this meat right here is cut right here at Superfoods. It ain't trucked on in. They cut it right in back. No, actually cut whatever you want, however you think you want, if you just ask them. Just like it said, just ask your butcher. See right there? But they got the quarter pork loin for $2.25 a pound. Or the pork loin quarter slice, this is $2.15 a pound. There's a whole half a pork loin sliced for $2 a pound. And of course, one of my favorites is the pork steak, $1.99 a pound. And they got every kind of chop you can imagine. Boneless for $2.99. Yep. Breakfast chops, $2.60 a pound. Looking nice. Let's look at these ropes. Yep, Boston butt, dollar seventy a pound. On that one. Hey, here's some for dollar sixty-five. Hmm. And then over here we got the pork loin roast, loin in, dollar eighty a pound. Good eat. But current ground beef price, $73.27. It's $2.70 a pound. With the ground round at $4.50. And the ground chuck at $4.05. Looking nice too. Ground right here. Everyday fresh. Your beef cube steak, $6.99 pound. Yeah, we got these here beef oxtails, $8 a pound. Hold them steady. Ribeye steak, currently at $13 a pound. That's USDA choice, and that's something you need to look on. Don't say choice. You know, it will be something else, like a select. Yeah, select is actually utility utility meat or beef what I'm seeing here is USDA choice filet mignon running 1650 currently and our New York strip is at 1250 of course my favorite as you know because if you know what you're looking at you actually get two steaks the filet and the New York strip together yes that's the t-bone for eleven seventy-five, some of these would make porterhouse. Ooh, like look at that nice thick one. Plenty of filet, and plenty of New York strip. Eleven seventy-five a pound. Save some money and get both. Just say. Beef top round six twenty-five. There's some Chuck tender steaks. For six twenty-five, shoulder steaks for seventy-five, and then we got beef chuck steak boneless for five twenty-five a pound. And you can go down here and get your beef chuck shoulder roast for four twenty, or beef chuck roast boneless for four ninety-nine a pound. Woo, throw that in the crock pot with some carrots on your own and potatoes. Yeah, turnips, or even rutabagas. Got a fine meal. Chicken gizzards, got plenty at $1.65. Ooh, chicken tenderloins. They're gonna run us $3.60. We ain't in that market. But we can go down here and get one of them Springer Mountain. Fresh, whole, young fryers. No hormones ever, no antibiotics. No animal byproducts for $1.75 a pound. 
Or hey, get you some chicken livers for $1.99. That's amazing that chicken livers would actually be more than whole chickens. <laughs> Who would have ever thought it? Or you can get it cut up right over here, cut up fryer from Springer Mountain Farms. I said Mountain Fresh before, but it's Mountain Farms. For $1.75. They'll even cut it up for you. Boneless breast fillets. We're running 346 a pound. Or you can go down here and debone them yourself for $2.05. If you don't like the bone, but the bone adds the flavor. This would be my choice. Just say. Of course, chicken wings are three thirty-five a pound. Ooh, they pricey. Our boneless, skinless thigh fillets are two eighty-five a pound. Or we could go over here. And get fryer thighs for dollar forty, or drumsticks for the same price, dollar forty. We can debone the thighs ourselves. It ain't all that hard. Just takes time. But that's where we are in the year 2022. Now, don't you wish we'd stayed back in time to 2019, August the 22nd? I wish we could have those meat prices again. Don't you? Well, hey. I'm going to run on out of here. And I'll see you back. In the car. Well, y'all, as you can see, we're all back in focus. Yeah, it was just a quick look. Down through the meat case. And uh, that was a very good find in my mind. That ground beef, $73.27. For $1.90 a pound. Yeah. Yep, reduced for quick sale. Manager special. Yep. Tomorrow they had to sell it for sure. But we're going to take it on home. We're going to divide it up. Those are two pound packages. We're going to divide it up into one pound packages. And wrap it on up we are. Yep. Throw it in the freezer. But hey. I went back because I thought I saw something hiding under those uh, T-bones that we looked at. Which were also a good deal. And I found me a special cut of meat that I have not had in probably over three or four years. But hey, I'm not going to show you that till we get back home and get the meat back out on the counter in our little country kitchen. Because I'm going to get it all wrapped up. I'm not going to let it age another second more. When you get a good deal, stock up. Then get her home and get her wrapped up for long-term storage in the deep freeze. But hey, we'll see you when we get back to the country kitchen. Well, y'all, as you can see, we're back in the little country kitchen with our meat haul. I'm so glad I decided today, for whatever reason, to go back in time to check what meat prices were. And even more glad, we flipped back through the time vortex to modern day time and went on in and checked out what they had at Superfoods. Because today they had a lot of meat on Reduce for Quick Sale. Manager Special. And you saw what I got. I got me three of these here two pound packages, or just a little over, of the 7327 ground beef for $1.90 a pound. I'll take that any day. Then, since I had it, some of their very own homemade sausage. Woo! Like I say, if you're in the area and you want good sausage, yeah, that Jimmy Dean, Tennessee Pride, that kind of sausage may be good. But this is way more better, I'm telling you. For only $1.99 a pound, think about it. But I'm glad I went back for just a second look, and I'll show you why. It's right over here in this bag. It's special, especially to me. I haven't had one of these in three or four years. I know. Well, probably ever since. My son moved out to his own place. It's just me and something like this. Yeah, once you cook it, it's with you a while. 
Not that it's not good, because it is. Let me show you what's in our little shopping bag that we got when we took a second look. In the reduced for quick sale, meat pile, lily bit. Lily bit, are you excited to see what's in the bag that we got? Hmm? Hmm, yeah. You love beef too, don't you, baby? Yes, you do. <laughs> You're my precious, and I'll cook you up some. You and my Gracie. And the kitty crew, too. Well, as you can see, a little bit excited, too. So let's see what we got. Let's drag it on out of here, because we got to get it wrapped up, too. Y'all hold on. So like I said, I went back for one last check. Well, that reduced for quick sale. Meat pile. And buried underneath... I found this jewel. A pure treasure it is. Angus Pride. USDA choice. And what is it? Yep, it's a beef chuck roast. Boneless, baby. Yeah. For $3.50 a pound. Yeah. This would have been well over $5 a pound. Probably $5.99. Regular price. It's under here. But I doubt I'd get this sticker to cooperate. Let's see. Maybe we can. Yep, right there it is. Regular price, $4.99. So hey, we saved a buck fifty per pound. And I won't keep it as a whole. I'm going to take this thing, which is 2.93 pounds. We'll just round it to three. And I'll cut it in half. Right down the middle. And make two rows out. Be plenty big enough. With some carrots, potatoes, onions, garlic. Hey, maybe throw in some Rude Baker's turnips. Never know. And make a fine Sunday evening dinner pot roast we would. Just like back when we all used to sit down with our families. So I'm really happy that we made the trip back in time to Superfoods. Yep. And then we stayed to check the prices today. Or we'd have missed out on these great bargains but hey there we have it we checked back in time and we checked in this time what do y'all think what are you seeing for meat prices in your area are there shortages let us all know in the comments below the video because that's where the real truth lies in this channel it comes from all of you not only me as well so, uh, there you are, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. A little meat run to check what was and what is in comparison of meat prices and availability. Right here, in my small piece of paradise in the deep south of Alabama at one of my favorite places to shop, Superfoods. Like I tell you, all the time. They're always glad you came they always know your name. So hey, until I, Lily Bit, Gracie, which is asleep, the Kitty Crew Outdoors, see y'all on the next video, and y'all take care. Stay safe, and God bless you, as you bless others. Hey, and fam, you want to stay behind and help me wrap meat, you're more than welcome. Whew, I got to get it in the fridge now, and let her chill down, get out the commercial plastic wrap and foil I gotta find my sharpie well, I gotta get separating and wrapping I surely do because it won't be a bargain if it goes to waste later on <laughs>